Hi friends, this is Hannah from Handmade by Design and today I'm going to be making a bunny centerpiece and show you one of my thrift flips. This centerpiece sold almost as soon as I made it. For this project I used the daisies on the left but only in yellow and white, the variegated leaves and ferns all from the Dollar Tree. I also used the larger orange daisies from Michael's and they were on sale for 40% off. I used yellow speckled and white speckled eggs from the Dollar Tree, foam carrots, jute carrots, orange and white gingham ribbon, orange and white twine, and I did not use any of the greens that are showing there. I used three moss bunnies from Big Lots, a pair of scissors, wood glue from the Dollar Tree, hot glue, and because I like for all of my projects to look completely finished, I outlined and cut out some brown craft paper to cover the back of the sign with. I adhered the sign with some jot, with a jot glue stick from the Dollar Tree. I laid more craft paper down to protect my workspace and I glued the two pieces of the sign together by intermittently adding a little bit of wood glue down one complete side of one of the signs. After I had used the wood glue, in the spaces where there was no glue, I added hot glue from the glue gun to get immediate adhesion between both of the signs. I pressed the signs together tightly until the hot glue completely dried and the adhesion was good between both of the sides. I turned the project over and the brown part is now going to be the top of the centerpiece. And I added popsicle sticks with hot glue on them to make sure that this was not going to come apart. I wanted to make this a permanent fix. So I added popsicle sticks both horizontally and vertically until I was sure that the sign was completely stable and stuck together. I glued the three bunnies to the board, the largest bunny in the center and the two other bunnies equidistant to the ends of the board facing inwards a little bit. I added eight of the large daisies from Michael's as you see me doing here all around the bunnies and in between those I added the yellow and white small daisies from the Dollar Tree that I had taken off of the greenery. I also added from the Dollar Tree orange and white gingham shoestring ribbons and orange and white twine shoestring ribbons around the necks of all three bunnies. I'm so sorry that I missed filming this. I don't know what happened, but as I turn the board, you can see where I glued the bunnies down and where I placed all of the flowers and um, the shoestring bows are pretty self-evident. So hopefully this gives you a really good idea and a good close look at where I did the flower placement on the board. I also work on a Lazy Susan when I do big projects like this because it's so much easier to work on the back and the front of a project if you can turn the whole project completely around as you're working with it. I took the variegated leaves from the Dollar Tree and took them all off of the stems and cut each leaf into a single leaf. I then went underneath all of the flowers and glued the variegated leaves all around the bunny 
until two and three deep until they reached nearly the end of the board. Then I took the fern off of the bundles that I purchased from the Dollar Tree and I ironed every single fern because they were all crooked and twisted and I have this tiny little craft iron that was perfect to do it. Then I took each fern individually and I hot glued them underneath the variegated leaves. Again, I went all around the board and I glued the ferns closely together so that none of the board was showing and the ferns ended up hanging off the end of the board two, three, and in some places maybe even three and a half inches. This is a large centerpiece and will look beautiful on a large dining room table. I just kept adding ferns until I was completely satisfied with the way that the centerpiece looked all the way around. And it came out very lush and beautiful. I checked all around the centerpiece to make sure that everything was equally distributed and that it was um, equally full and long on one side as it was on the other. Next, using eight of the jute carrots from the Dollar Tree, I glued two carrots to the front of the bunny in the center and two carrots to the back of the bunny in the center as shown and one carrot on the front side of the bunny on the left and on the right on the outside of each bunny on the front and on the back. So we have four carrots on the front and four carrots on the back as shown here. I really love the way this centerpiece is coming together. It's taking shape nicely and I think I'm really going to be happy with the outcome. Let me know what you think in the comments. Would you put this on your dining room table? Next, I used four white plastic eggs from the Dollar Tree and right in this, the kind that open up and in the center of the eggs, I glued the orange and white gingham ribbon and then on top of the gingham ribbon, I glued the orange and white twine. So the ribbon around the eggs matches the ribbon around the bunny's necks. And it just ties together so nicely. I love the way these eggs turned out. I set the four eggs aside and I take four yellow eggs and I open the eggs up and just use the twine along the edge of these eggs to cover up the edges because I'm gonna use these eggs as little baskets. So I use the orange and white gingham ribbon and I wrap it a few times around the top of each egg and then I fill each egg with about six of the small foam carrots from the Dollar Tree. I really loved the way that this looked, but I wasn't happy with the color. The, um, the carrots looked a little too orange to me. So I put white wax, a little bit of white wax on each of the carrots, and then I glued the carrots into each cup. I glued the white eggs to the left and to the right of the bunnies on the outside of the centerpiece and I glued the yellow eggs with the carrots in between the bunny in the middle and the bunnies on the outside. So I have four eggs, two on either side of the outside of the bunnies and four half eggs filled with carrots in between all of the bunnies. 
Next, I took uh, some greenery, and I can't remember where I got it, but I took out all of the stems from the jute carrots, and I felt like it was a real upgrade and looked so much better with little twigs of this greenery that I replaced with uh, the paper greenery as it was in the jute carrots. After studying the centerpiece, I decided to make some changes on the small carrots that I had glued into the yellow egg cups as well. I begin by just using the generic orange paint from the Dollar Tree and painting stripes on the carrots, but I ended up not quite liking the way that looked. So I painted, ended up painting those carrots completely orange and they looked so much better with the orange paint. It was a much better match than the very, very bright orange that the foam carrots originally came in. And after I painted the carrots, I added little sprigs of the greenery to the top of each carrot without removing the paper from the top of the little foam carrots and it looked so much better. And this project is complete. I hope it inspires you to make something beautiful. I also have a thrift flip for you. I found a beautiful painting, large, over five feet long, at the thrift store. It was $7.49 and it's so vibrant and big and beautiful. It's done in the style, it looks like a Georgia O'Keeffe painting. And you know that was coming home with me. I paid $7.49 for the painting and when I turned it around, I noticed that it still had the original price tag from Bed Bath & Beyond for $99.99. It still had the hanging hardware taped to the back of the painting. It had never even been hung. What a score. Thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. And if you enjoyed the content, please hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the notification button so you'll see the next time I post a project. Until then, thanks again, and we'll see you soon.